So it's interesting how although we love our spouse the very most, we often judge our spouse the very most. It's all too easy to fall into the habit of consistently expecting and wanting more as life hums on. Well, my next guest calls this cheating. Life coach Jody Moore says women are cheating on their husband with their husband's potential. She has a few mind shifts to help us love our spouse where they are right now. Hi, Jody. How are you? So good. How are you, Brooke? I'm good. And I wish you could see in studio how every time I say the word cheating, heads snap up and eyes kind of go wide. It's a different interpretation on the idea. Explain more what you mean when you say you're cheating on your husband with your husband's potential. Yeah, I purposely say it that way to wake us all up because it can feel like so noble and kind to be thinking what I just want him to reach his potential. I know he's capable of so much more, but what we're doing is sort of having this love affair in our minds with this version of, of him or her uh, that we made up instead of just learning to love the person who's right in front of us as they are. Which there's nothing more noble than that. And allow me to throw a but into the conversation. Yes. A goal of marriage, I think, as we accept and know it, is to help each other progress. Like it's this, this refining relationship, right, that helps yep. us grow and aspire to our better selves. So what's the balance there? Yeah, definitely. So there's a difference between um, supporting a spouse who has goals and wants to pursue and wants to grow versus us trying to control a spouse mm. um, for various reasons. And it's a fine line. Yeah. It can feel like the same thing, but it's definitely very different. You can tell the difference because when we're trying to control our emotions, our happiness is dependent on whether or not our spouse um, achieves uh, whatever goals yeah. we've set or they've set versus just supporting and encouraging and loving. Well said. Well said. Okay, you have three ways to break this cycle. Um, starting with this one, understand ambition is just a character trait. Yes. Typically what I see is there may be one spouse who is more ambitious, just naturally more driven, um, thinks a little bit bigger in certain ways and one who is a little bit more content. And, um, we tend to think of ambition as being really noble and, or, or smart or something. And while it is, it can be a very positive trait. There's also just as many positive things about contentment. Mm -hmm. And so when we try to project our ambition onto somebody else, um, typically that causes problems. Yeah. And that's what I often see in a spouse saying, I just want him to live up to his potential is that that spouse is just more ambitious. It's okay for the other one to be content with where they are in life. How I, I love, I love that point. And I love the idea or the challenge you're putting on the table to support and celebrate contentment. How can we do that? How can we show up in a space where our pom poms come out for the person who is content and confident with things as they are? Well, and the truth is that ideally there's a balance, right? So contentment, we, we might say is a form of gratitude, right? It's being grateful for what we have and where we are and what our life looks like now. And ambition is a striving for something different or something more. And again, both are useful, yeah. but what we tend to do is we, when we're, if we're the ambitious one, we call the content person lazy. Mm. And if we're the, the content one, we call the ambitious person ungrateful, both of those things don't have to be true in the end. So it's that, that like you talk about, that balance or that meet in the yes. middle where the gratitude and the drive kind of come together in a, in a harmonious space. That's right. You touched on the difference between supportive and controlling. How yeah. might I know? Let's do that self-check. Get real with ourselves as we look at the mirror. How might I know if I'm tipping toward more of a controlling attitude toward my partner? Yeah. The difference is going to be in how you feel. And we do this with our spouses. We do it with our kids. We do it with a lot of people. We, we try to control them, but we label it to ourselves at least as being supportive. Mm -hmm. So you want to check in with how you feel. Um, I love the idea that if it feels really heavy, I'm taking on things that aren't mine to own. Um, it should feel loving and kind and, and available, but not taking so much on that we become emotionally invested in how that person is doing. And really you say, this is an interesting angle to consider as well, that this comes down to how our needs are, are being met. Explain that correlation. Yeah. So it's really important to understand that a lot of times what we're trying to do is get our own needs met through another person. So I might have 
and, and need is just the word I use, but it might just be like a desire or interest. Maybe I would like more money in our lives and in our family. And if my husband's the one working and I'm at home with the kids, then I, I start like trying to push him when he may or may not be interested in that. Mm -hmm. So if I have a need for more money, more connection, um, you know, to, to travel or something like this, and my husband doesn't have the desire to help me meet those needs, then those needs ultimately are mine to own. And so just recognizing, oh, I just have a need and I can find a different travel companion, or I can go try to figure out how to make some money if I want, oftentimes helps solve for this problem. It's such an interesting angle to consider. And I love that you got our attention with kind of the headline, but the <laughs> substance behind it was just yeah. as thought provoking. Jody, thank you so much. Hey, before we say goodbye, you have an exciting virtual workshop coming up. A lot of people want the chance to learn from you and learn with you, and they can do that now virtually. Yes, um, it's a great opportunity. If you just want to come learn a little more, try out coaching. It's called Wellness Week. Um, you can learn all about it at jodymore.com forward slash wellness. Okay, we'll check it out. Thank you so much. Great to chat with you as always. You too. Thanks, Brooke.